Now, if you remember a few videos back, we opened up a mystery box filled with comic books from my main man, Shockwave the Robot. Check him out at shockwavetherobot.com. He is Crypto Comics' favorite living robot. And he sent me a ton of awesome Malibu comics and some really awesome WCW, that's World Championship Wrestling comic books that I'm reviewing over on my other channel, Testosterone Overload, which is uh, dedicated to preserving the history of professional wrestling in the Pacific Northwest and beyond. There's some great documentaries over there with Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, the lovely Diana Hart, wife of the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith, and sister of Brett the Hitman Hart and the King of Hearts, Owen Hart. An insightful interview with the widow of Bruiser Brody, the lovely Barbara Goodish. And a ton more stuff for you to check out over at Testosterone Overload. So, this comic book review is brought to you by my main man, Shockwave the Robot. Check him out, shockwavetherobot.com. And we're going to talk about Prime. This is undoubtedly the most popular comic book in the Ultraverse. If you are new to Crypto Comics, you might want to check out our previous reviews from the Ultraverse and Malibu Comics. Ultraverse was an imprint of Malibu, and I'm not really sure why they did it. I think it was just to try to sell books, right? I mean, that's the, that's the whole thing here, right, is you try to sell comic books. And what I really appreciate is Malibu was uh, not big into trying to rip people off with, you know, 50-issue crossover events that span through their entire universe. Uh, I find that stuff to be, you know, cheap, tawdry trash. But Prime here is, without a doubt, the most memorable character to come out of Malibu Comics. People, people still talk about Prime today. People still like him. And uh, this first issue, it was excellent. It was excellent. Let's just get right into it. Prime Time. Written by Len Strazuski and Gerard Jones. Art by Norm Brayfogel. Now, if you've been around Crypto Comics for a while, you know that Gerard Jones is the writer of the Solitaire 12-issue maxi-series from the Ultraverse, which I really, really enjoyed. You can check out those reviews. And he wrote a lot of different Ultraverse titles. And uh, this one he teamed up with Len to uh, make it happen, and it's, it's solid. Who are you? What are you? I'm Prime, you pervert! And Prime is gonna make you pay! Wow, Prime was created by Bob Jacobs, Gerard Jones, and Len Strazuski. There was no warning. I heard what sounded like an explosion overhead. I looked up, saw the hole in the ceiling, and before I could yell, he was on me. Admit it, Coach Meyer. I know what you did. I know what you did to these girls. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Kelly, come on. Well, we gotta get out of here. No, no, he's, he's talking about us. Whap. Don't lie to me. It was just a slap, but it cost me three teeth and flattened my nose over half my face. I don't think he knew his own strength. I saw you, Coach Meyer. I saw you on the basketball court in fifth period. Touching those girls. How did he know? How did he know? Oh, God, he saw that? Get away from me. Get away from me. I don't think. I just attacked. When he flinched, I, I thought maybe I'd found his weak spot. I didn't think so after my ankle snapped. Crack. I didn't know if the creep was playing with me or he didn't know what he could take. I I'm no pushover, you know. I'm into the martial arts, and I could tell this guy knew nothing about fighting. I won't leave here until I got your confession, Coach Meyer. I protect the innocent and expose the guilty. That is the prime directive. I didn't touch anybody. But I couldn't hurt him, even when I kicked him in the... Hey, watch where you're... Oh, look at that. <laughs> Snap. Oh, jeez. Your arm. I didn't mean to break it. I... Oh, my God, Kelly, run. He's going to kill us. No. He deserved this for, for what he did to you. I'm your protector and avenger. Don't be afraid. Never be afraid of me. Yeah, I swear it was like he was playing right up to the little jerk. Figures, right? I mean, he accuses me of trying to grab some young tush, and it's probably him that sits there drooling over their little gym shorts. The little girls would probably give him whatever he wanted, too. Did he say anything else? Itches like hell. Nah, nothing else. He just took off through the hole in the ceiling. He flew through the hole in the ceiling. Hope somebody can nail him. Can you believe what he did to a respectable educator like me? Amazing. 
So is that it? When do I get my cash? The receptionist will pay you as you leave. Thank you for your testimony. Yeah, sure. Can't believe you're going to let a sleazebag like him leave with our money, Doc. Oh, he's given us much in return. Excellent information. And while he was speaking, he was bombarded with a tight radiation beam. His sexual urges, sex of any sort, will no longer be an issue for him. Oh, send in the next one. Hey, what is this? Please, sit down. Yeah, yeah, okay, but hurry it up, man. I ain't got all day. Tell us about Prime. Yeah, that's what he called himself. Practically put me out of business for a day or two. Busted up my house, if you know what I mean. Your drug house. You say it, not me. You a cop or something? If so, this entrapment. No, I just want information. Okay, you got it. This Mr. Universe crashed into my house right through the mother friggin' roof. For a minute, I thought the Crips hired a helicopter and dropped a bomb on us. Boom! No more crack! He was worse than a friggin' bomb. Didn't care about nothing. Just smash stuff. No more drugs in this neighborhood. No more drugs anywhere. And they're cooking. They're cooking it all right there. Who the hell is this? Waste him now! Some bullets bounced, but some bit. I thought we aced him for sure. This is so weird what he does. Uh oh. Then he did something I only seen in comic books. Clapped his hands, and the mother friggin' shockwave knocked us over. My ears, my ears! I figured no more fooling. I want to finish the bastard. So I grabbed the flamethrower we use for urban renewal jobs. That's it! You're a dead man! Dead! Didn't make no difference. He walks through it like I'm sprinkling him with a yard hose. Oh, man! Hey, man, you, you're burning me! Better learn the prime lesson. You play with fire, you get burned. Then he just spins. He just spins. And the whole house come down. I don't know what he was, but he was not human. Still can't get the insurance company to pay us for the house. Those people are a bunch of criminals anyway. And my chiropractor says I gotta wear this thing for another week. Got one thing out of it, though. Got my piece of that guy. Some of the goop that popped out of him? Haven't tried smoking it yet, but hey, you never know. Might be a good high. That vial. His bodily fluids? Yeah. I got souvenirs that everybody my people had to discipline. Ears and stuff. And I even got something off this prime. I want it. I'll pay extra. I bet you do. One of a kind, man. Worth maybe five G's. All right. You do got money to burn, don't you? Then maybe 10 G's is a better number. Hey, hey, what the hell? These straps start to, like, hold him down and restrain him. Hey, hey, what the hell? Let me go, or you get nothing. You are drug-dealing scum. You do not deserve to live. <laughs> and while I do not usually operate this way, I do have the authority to take what I need for my investigation. After all, I am from the government. I'm here to help you. <laughs> Aren't they always? The Strangers. I don't have this Ultraverse title. This is one of the only ones left that I don't have. I gotta get at least issue one of this. Even though it looks like crap. Oh my gosh, it looks terrible. And I also need to get Hard Case, number one. That's, uh, that's been kind of elusive so far. I'm gonna have to go, uh, go across the bridge to Portland, Oregon to try to find that one at Cosmic Monkey. That's where, that's where I go for my comics in Portland, Cosmic Monkey. If I can't find it there, then I trek a little bit deeper into Portland to Excalibur Comics. The world-famous Excalibur Comics. Speaking of Hardcase, there he is right there. Actor Tom Hawk, a.k.a. Hardcase, has turned his ultra-human abilities into a successful film career with a Malibu beach house, a seven-figure salary, and legions of adoring fans around the world. Hardcase has everything a hero could ask for, except that his teammates are dead, his girlfriend's in a coma, and the world's first group of costumed ultra-humans has been destroyed forever. And it's all his fault. Coming in June of 93 by James Hudnall, who 
recently passed away. Very sad, very sad. He uh, was uh, in the midst of an Indiegogo campaign for a comic book when he passed away. And hopefully that, that, uh, that last project will get released in memory of him and in honor of him. Back to our story here in Prime. This is GNS Ultra Humans Update. I'm Carol Dickey. <laughs> Dickey. And this is our special contributor, Al Baker, publisher of Ultra Monthly Magazine and a recognized expert in ultra-human activities. Carol, we've got lots of news this week. Lots of public and not-so-public ultra-human activity. First, another episode in our continuing coverage of Tom Hawk, or Hard Case, as he's known to the public. This month's Ultra caught Hard Case coming out of Cedar sinai Hospital, where he was once again visiting his ex-lover, Starburst. We asked Hard Case to comment on her condition and whether or not he felt responsible. Get out of my face! Obviously, Hard Case is still very touchy on this subject. Wouldn't you say, Carol? Almost as if he had something to hide, Al. Oh yeah, Doc's gonna want to see this. Maybe we'll find out after Hard Case gets our reporter subpoena. We'll have more on Hard Case next week, Carol. It's like TMZ. Now, our next story. The mysterious disappearance of Prototype, the superhero and spokesperson for Ultratech. That's right, Carol. After two years of representing Ultratech as its corporate symbol and armament demonstrator, Prototype has virtually disappeared from public view. One of the most recognizable Ultrahumans, Prototype has been a living photo opportunity, appearing at everything from diplomatic balls to shopping center events. And who could forget Prototype's role in the development of weapons for our Persian Gulf peacekeeping forces? Ultraverse number zero, cover art by Jim Lee. I don't have this. I got a bunch of these Ultraverse comics uh, from my boy, Shockwave the Robot, and I picked up a few extras at my local comic shop. But I don't have this. This might be a little tricky to find because uh, you had to follow these directions carefully to get your copy. You had to redeem all five coupons. Including this one. However, these films obtained by Ultra show Prototype being medically evacuated from an Ultratech testing facility after his XO armor failed during recent weapons tests. How badly was he injured? Did he survive? We asked Ultratech Public Relations Vice President Stanley Leland for answers. And what's the verdict, Al? Ultratech does not comment on confidential, competitive information and the disposition of its resources. However, we expect to have an announcement in a few weeks. Just in time for Ultratech's initial public offering on New York's big board, Al? Maybe it's just another publicity stunt, Carol. But our sources indicate the prototype was seriously injured and may not have survived his accident. Next, America's newest ultra-human. After this. When I lost my leg in a car accident, I thought I'd never play tennis again, but thanks to Health Incorporated... What have I missed? Nothing you don't know about, Doc. Not yet, but sit down. Al, what's the scoop on our newest hero? Did I miss a page? No, I didn't. Okay. Just want to make sure. Al, what's the scoop on our newest hero? Carol, he calls himself Prime. And not only is he the newest American hero, he is one of our most enigmatic ultra-humans, appearing in some of the strangest situations. This is John F. Kennedy Jr. High School in Canoga Park, California, the scene of Prime's first recorded appearance. I like Canoga Park. It's really nice. Dear God, so the world knows of him already. We'll have to move even quicker than before. Reports of property damage and terrified students have this quiet valley community in an uproar. Does he understand what he is? Can he even imagine what he's begun? He's already showing signs of instability. How much longer before? Excuse me, Al, but we have a special report coming in. Prime has been sighted entering Somalia, nearing the rebel-held relief station at Bagani. It sounds like he's no longer just a Southern California issue. Somalia? 10,000 miles from home? Then he doesn't know. He hasn't guessed. Whoosh! Flies over the United Nations like they're going to do anything. Gentlemen, I came as soon as I could after I heard on the news about those terrorists blocking food supplies. Who are you? I'm Prime, gentlemen. Follow me and consider those starving people saved. What? 
I said follow me. There's nothing those terrorists can do. Dude, he is just, he is on the gas big time, bro. Big time, man. Oh, and he gets shot. See, these are the terrorists, just so you know. This isn't the U.S., excuse me, the U.N. military. Is that the best you can do? Take a look at my best. Get down, get down. Slap. Grabs this grenade. Boom. <laughs> it's melting, though. Now, anybody else want to play? Okay, gentlemen, nothing's gonna... What? Oh, oh God, I'm, I'm melting. I'm made of pus. What is happening? I'm like a giant zit that's about to explode on a teenager's face. Let's roll! Hey, we don't know who you are, but... Hey! We just wanted to thank you. Hmm. You're welcome, UN. Another American taking care of the trash where you can't. No, just a little further, just a little crash. Oh, oh. Protectors? Yeah, all right. This is awesome. He's turning into Clayface from DC Comics. No, he's not. No, he's not. What's going on in here? What is this? What is this? I love this panel right here. It's especially awesome. It's a little kid trying to punch his way out of the giant, goopy, prime body. I don't know how else to describe it other than a giant, goopy... <laughs> what, did Mark Summers just get you on Double Dare, kid? What happened here? You can't do that on television. Oh, look, and just leaves this rotting husk, this melted, gooey carcass. It reminds me of Emil when he got hit by the car in RoboCop and just exploded into goopy nothingness. A puke. Next issue, Inside Prime. Get it? Inside Prime? I get it. Oh, geez. Dinosaurs for hire. Why? Huh. I should have had my own licensing deal. I hate dinosaurs. We're back and in full color to boot. Oh boy, I'm excited for that one. Raver. This is one I have to get. It is by Star Trek's Walter Koenig. He is the guy that played Chekhov in the original series and in the original series movies. And this is his first color comic. I wonder what his first black and white comic was. I actually have uh, some other comic books that were created by Star Trek alumni, Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner. And so I'm excited now to find Raver and see what Walter Koenig was up to. Necroscope from a forgotten evil comes a new generation of death. Book two, one theory. This is vam vampire, if you're wondering. Ultratorial number one, collect them all. What dark secret is America's mightiest hero hiding? How did 59 complete strangers suddenly become charged with superhuman abilities? Why did the most popular crime fighter on Earth retire for a movie career? Intrigued? Good. Because the answers are awaiting you in Prime, the book you hold in your hand. The Strangers and Hard Case. The Ultraverse comics debuting this month. Ultraverse, I hear you say. I've got remarkably good hearing. Ultraverse? What's that? Ultraverse. One. Unlimited zone of imagination and adventure. Two, top-selling line of comic books published by Malibu Comics beginning in June of 1993. Three, action-packed interlocking universe created by the greatest storytellers known to humans. The Ultraverse is all this and more. It's the coolest new characters written and illustrated by the hottest creators working as a group to bring you comics that make sense. But don't take my word for it. I'm only the editor-in-chief. Here's what the creators on Prime have to say. Gerard Jones says, We're creating a new universe from the ground up with new rules, styles, twists, and creations unlike anything you've seen before. Whatever you think the Ultraverse is at first, stick around. You ain't seen more than the tip of the iceberg. Len Straczewski, writer. The Ultraverse is our ultimate fantasy, and with each idea contributed by our team of writers, the Ultraverse has only gotten bigger, bolder, more unusual than anything we've ever done before. Read carefully and stay alert. It's a dangerous place where anything can happen. Artist Norm Brayfogel says, I'm ultra excited to be involved at the beginning of comics' ultimate universe, the Ultraverse, where the story comes first. Norm's right, but we can't do it without you. Write letters. Bug your local comic book store. 
put the word out. The Ultraverse is here. The new force in comic books has arrived. So it debuted with Prime number one, Hard Case number one, Strangers number one. What sets the Ultraverse apart from Malibu Comics, the publisher? Well, Malibu Comics, each book was its own universe, its own world. They did not cross over like you see in Marvel Comics and DC Comics and uh, some image books back in the 90s when this was released. The Ultraverse was all an interlocking universe. All the characters existed side by side. And without a doubt, Prime was the most indelible of all these characters. And I, I used to uh, reject Prime when I was a kid. I thought he was just going to be like the cheap, tawdry ripoff of Shazam, Captain Marvel, you know? But it turns out this was actually like really good. This was well written. This kept me intrigued the entire time I was reading it. And the art is great. And it's, uh, it's printed on glossy paper. And I can tell you right now that there are other Ultraverse titles that came out after this one. And they were not printed on glossy paper. They were printed on newsprint. And I find that interesting that they made that choice to print subsequent issues not a, necessarily a prime of other issue number ones from the Ultraverse on newsprint. And this, uh, this they felt strong enough about that they printed it on glossy paper. And uh, to me, it makes all the difference, you know. Occasionally, I find a book on newsprint that belongs on newsprint because of the story itself. It's more intriguing to see it on newsprint. It also is great on glossy. Like, a good example is the, the Lone Wolf book, Lone Wolf issue number one by Doug Garrett which you can actually, you can pick that up right now on Indiegogo. We're doing the uh, Legends of the Lone Wolf anthology book, a massive 80-page anthology for 20 bucks, but for an extra 5 bucks, you can either get the first printing of Lone Wolf number one, or you can get this really cool aged variant edition, which is printed on an, it's still color, but it's printed on an aged newsprint, which really kind of lends itself in an interesting way to that particular story. Now, I wouldn't recommend that for something like Prime. That wouldn't make any sense. But newsprint does have its place in this day and age, especially with the technological capabilities and advancements in printing. Like, I am shocked at how good newsprint looks today compared to when I was a kid reading comics before Glossy became the norm. Yeah, but anyways, if you want to check that out, you can go to Indiegogo and just search for Legends of the Lone Wolf. There's a massive 38-page story in there written by yours truly. And, uh, and I have a lot more comics planned as we get into summer and then even into the fall. So stick around here at Crypto Comics where we explore the past and let it influence the future as we make our own comics. I think I'm going to come back tomorrow with another Ultraverse title to share with all you beautiful people in Webtown. So please hit that thumbs up. Don't be afraid to hit that ding dong for notifications. And I'm going to see you tomorrow right here on Crypto Comics.